Hey, nonprofits. Today, I'm going to share some of my favorite tools and resources that I use for nonprofit marketing. So if you're a nonprofit marketer and you're excited to learn more about these tools, hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. The first tool on my list is a website called Place It. It's actually how I made that fun, quick intro video. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but first I wanted to focus on how robust this website is. There are over 56,000 templates. You can make logos, videos, mock-ups of iPhones, flyers, business cards, social media images, and so much more. I've barely scratched the surface of using this website, um, but how I have used it has been amazingly helpful in different marketing projects and creating marketing assets for campaigns. So what I want to do is share my screen with you and give you a behind the scenes look at a couple of image mock-ups that I might, might be able to make and also how I did that quick intro video. All right, I'm sharing my screen with you. And for purposes of time, I am only gonna focus on mocking up an iPhone and a video intro like I showed you earlier. So let's head over to the iPhones tab. As you can see, there are a lot of tabs at the top. And what's gonna happen is all of these templates for iPhones are going to load. And you can see as I scroll over them, images appear. And so what you wanna do is place your image and that's why it's called place it because you literally place your image in these pre-built templates and get an awesome photo back. Um, so what you'll do is find the template you want and then upload your screenshot. So let me find one of the ones that I like the most, which I know is on page two. Here we go. And so to get your image for, for this template, what you want to do is take a screenshot from your iPhone and then upload that screenshot here. So I have two that I did in advance. One is for a podcast from a nonprofit and you can see you can toggle down here to make it bigger or smaller to make sure that it fits. The little check boxes means that it's going to show up transparent. So we want to make this as full as possible and then we crop it. So now you'll have an image that promotes your podcast. So instead of maybe just sharing the screenshot on social media, you can place it into one of these beautiful templates and then share this on social media. Just to show you one more example, let's say you wanted to promote voting and that's not always something that's easy to get an image for. And so again, what you can do is take a screenshot on your phone and then upload that here so that you have something that's a little more polished or better looking than maybe sharing a web page or a screenshot of the web page. So that's, I love this. This is one of the biggest ways that I use it. And once you have it the way that you like it, you can click the download button. Oh, and I should mention that in order to download the images, there is a fee. You can either do a la carte where you're paying per image, or you can do the unlimited package. There's a monthly at $14.95 or an annual at $89. I use the annual because I use it so much. It has that much value. Another quick way that you could use it, for instance, is to promote Amazon Smile. So there's so many campaigns that I work on where um, it's just hard to get an image and just popping a screenshot in of a web page usually does the trick and get some engagement. Right, back to our tutorial. I clicked on the video link from the menu bar. And as you can see, there are a lot of different video options of templates that you can create for Instagram stories to intro templates for just a general video or maybe a YouTube video. So let me show you how I modified this so that I could make my intro, my little intro clip that I included earlier in this video. And so I used this minimalist template and what you can do with these templates is upload your own images or there's also a stock library as you'll see in a minute of ones that um, you can search through that might work for what you need. So I typed the words technology and I found something that worked a lot better than people walking for this specific video. And so you'll see it's mocked it up here. And what you can also do is change the colors. And so when it collapses, there we go. I had made the circles like a bluish color to match our brand. And then 
the details. I believe I had made like an orangish color. I had changed the music here. So you can go through all these different, you know, um, types of things, whether it's by mood or specific genre of music. And then I had typed in here, nonprofit tools and resources. And I believe I made this white. So just really quickly to show you how easy this is. Um, there we go. And then when you click play, it's going to put it all together so that you can preview it. One thing to note is a customization of colors that's also available for the iPhone mockup. So you can put in your own brand color code, or you can choose something that's similar to your brand. Um, that's across all of the templates. So if you see one and you're like, oh, that's a great template, but it doesn't match my brand. Usually there's the options to customize that to your brand colors. Um, so this will take, you know, a minute or two. Now it's loaded. And if we like it, we can download it. If we, if we wanted to make changes, we would just go back through, make those changes, and then download it. So as you can see, that was a really quick and simple way to make something. Again, you can um, put your own images in there, or you can use the ones from Placeit. This watermark will not appear when you purchase the asset or when you have the unlimited download subscription. So that was place it. Again, I will put a link in the description to all of these tools and resources that I'm going to share. And if it's something that you're considering for your nonprofit, leave a comment below. I'd love to know if it was something you found interesting or helpful. So moving on to the next tool and resource, it's something called remove.bg, or at least that's the website. You literally type in remove.bg and it will remove backgrounds. So I'm going to share my screen to show you how quick and easy this is too. All right, so I'm sharing my screen. We're at Remove BG or Remove Background. This is a 100% free website. You don't need to log in or anything. You can literally just click this upload image. You can put in the photo. I've selected one of kids that are in a park and voila, the background is instantly gone. It's so amazing. This would have taken so long to do in Photoshop a couple years ago. And when I see technology like this, I am just so happy about it. <laughs> um, and let's say for some reason, it did not remove the background completely. Um, you would just edit it yourself. There's an erase and restore. So let's say that it actually removes something that you didn't want gone, you can, you know, put it back. Um, but we want to go ahead and erase. And you'll notice there's a brush size, which comes in very handy. So let's say there's a little bit of green in this in this little blonde girl's hair, and we wanted to kind of maybe take that out a little bit. As you can see, it is just so easy to um, take out. And once you have it the way you want it, you just click download and voila, there you go. Now Canva, which is another tool and resource I highly recommend for nonprofits, also recently created a remove background effect. So I will show you that next. And quick note about Canva, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I did a tutorial all about Canva a few months ago. I'm going to link it up here. Also put a link in the description. So if you wanted more insight on Canva, feel free to check out that tutorial. Okay, I'm sharing my screen on Canva. And I have imported that same photo that we used at remove.bg so that we can see the comparison. Now, what you want to do is click on the photo and then click effects and then click background remover. And you'll see it's going to work its magic just like remove BG. And in a minute, voila, it's the same, almost the same exact thing where there's a little bit of green in the blonde girl's hair. There's also a, an erase and a restore feature. So let's go ahead and use the erase like we did um, on remove.bg just to get some of this green out to make it look a little more natural. Now, one thing to note is that this remove background is a pro feature, meaning you have to have Canva Pro, which there is a fee for. However, if you are a nonprofit, you can get Canva Pro for free. So if you want to learn more about that, again, check out that Canva, Canva video we did a couple of months ago because we give all the details in there. But I just wanted to give you a quick comparison because this is also a new feature for Canva. Um, and if you don't have the pro account and you need to remove that background, remove.bg is a great option. 
The last tool that I'm going to talk about today is a website called Mini Pixels. They offer unlimited graphic design for a low flat fee. So for $3.99 a month per month, you can have your own dedicated graphic designer where let's say you put in one order, maybe an order is creating one custom uh, illustration for social media and you'll get that back the next business day. So we have found it to be an amazing value. If you have a hard time getting photos or assets for social media, mini pixels is a way to just up level things beyond what you might be able to do on Canva, especially when it comes to illustration. And during this time that we're in with coronavirus, a lot of the photos that we've been using in the past, just we couldn't use anymore because people didn't have masks on. And even if those photos were taken, you know, a year or two years ago, people were leaving comments and we have to be very cautious about social distancing and how we're portray portraying things visually. So let's say, you know, you have a volunteer campaign and you need to get some assets for it, but you can't get photos of anyone. This is a place where Minipixel can come in and create an illustration or something to help you cross that bridge or, you know, meet that, to meet that thing that you're missing. Um, you can also create reports, PDFs, infographics. There's so many advanced things that they can do where I know if I were to hire a graphic designer to do a lot of the things on my list, it would cost way more than this monthly flat fee. I'm going to show you a couple examples of projects that we've done and that, or that they've done, but that we've put in a creative brief for just so you get an example of the types of things. Also, one of the perks is there's a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you try it and it's not for you, there's no obligation. You get your money back. We have a code or a link where you can get hundred dollars off your first month. So you could try this, you know, for two 99 a month. And again, if it doesn't work out for you, there's no obligation. You can cancel, but I'm pretty confident that you're, you'll find it very useful. So check out a couple of these graphics and presentations that we've used mini pixels for. So those are a few of my favorite tools and resources for nonprofit marketing. I hope that you found them helpful. If there was something that you were hoping I was going to cover, like social media schedulers, please comment below so that I can look at all those comments and see if it makes sense to make another video like this. And if you have a specific tool or resource that you think would be helpful for other nonprofits to know about, please comment below about that so that other nonprofits can look through the comments and see maybe something I didn't cover that you have insight on. So thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos about nonprofit marketing, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.